Ta -da -da. Welcome back. Erin, the US truck driver's clock is complete. All that remains to be done is to put it in our bedroom and test it to make sure over the space of a week or so that the alarm does work and everything else works properly. To power it, I'm going to use a 5 volt adapter because Erin has them in her cab. A 5 volt USB is a very, very handy source of electricity because this has got to be the most complicated way to plug one of these in single-handedly, there we are. Because it's regulated, very accurate, 5 volts with quite a lot of current. Right, what's going to happen? I can see hands turning. Yep. So the first thing that happens is the hands turn to find the zero position with a micro switch on the R1 and a read switch on this one. So they now know where they are and now they should move to tell the time. Lovely. So the lights fade up. How exciting. And the time currently is quarter to three or 2.45. How lovely. PM. It's all working perfectly because I haven't had this switched on for about two or three days while I've been working on the bag dispenser and things. So the real time clock inside that's got its own little battery has remembered. What a joy. And there we are. Currently set to America Central Time. And that was the whole point of this clock, because Erin travels regularly right across the United States between all these four different time zones, she wanted a clock that would allow her to do that easily. Let's have a look at the features. The first feature is that the whole thing is going to mount, it's been made the right size, so it fits onto uh, one of the doors and storage cupboards in her cab, which will hinge up so she can still ha access all the storage in the back, now she's got even more storage. Mm. This stores three different things, if memory serves. We have on the side the lovely brass knob with the mechanism I'm very pleased with. As that slides down, and I'm trying to do this single-handedly, there we are, let's, there we are, it slides down and then pops back in and locks. That gives her access to her roll of cooking foil. Then we slide it out again, we can drop it down, I'm trying to do this single handedly, there we are, then it's going to lock right at the bottom again and she'll have access to her freezer bags as well. So that's that storage. Now, next lot of storage which I'm really pleased with is the canine feculence recoupment storage, poop bags in other words. So, slide the iris open and then my most recent addition, underneath there's a knob that you slide forward and it pops the poo bag out, or the roll of them. How brilliant! And you have a whole stack of those stored inside, so you can just get the next bag, the next roll out when you need it. And then that shuts that up right onto the clock. Now, as always, you know I don't like just extraneous stuff glued onto boxes. Everything has to have a function, and this beautiful valve here does have a function. It's got an encoder inside, so any adjustments Erin wants to make to the time of the clock or the other bits and pieces, she does with this. So that's adding or minusing. Go round and round and round and round. Lovely. Then we have, even though I say to myself, my first fully 3D printed exciting thing made of different colour filaments that all fixed together. That's the alarm. So we've got the flickering flow effect there and the Alarm set indicator light there, and it just looks absolutely gorgeous, if you don't mind me saying so. Very exciting. Lovely reflections and everything. Below that, we have the flute, which works as part of the alarm. How lovely. And if you've watched the making of videos, you'll know this took quite a lot of working out, because I didn't want it. In the past, I've relied on weights to pull this down. But because it's going to be in a cab bouncing around down the road, if you had weights, it would be doing that, whereas with springs, lovely. So that's that, on to the main clock itself. So we've got the indicator, it indicates which time zone she's in. This is central time, if memory serves, so that's going to be naught. That's plus one hour, that's minus one hour, minus two hours. And she can set which, which time zone she's in at any one time. So the time at the moment is... 10 to 3 or 2.50 p.m. The lovely illumination. Now we come on to the function selection. That's normal operation. 
So once she goes to go to sleep or whatever, if she just switches that to chronograph sleep, all the lights will fade off. And if I turn that off, there we are. So that's now asleep, so there's nothing happening to disturb her, keep her awake or keep her dogs awake. Um, in, the, in effect, behind the scenes, it is still keeping time very accurately and if the alarm has been set, it will be remembering when that's going off. And then when she wakes up in the morning, switches it back down to there, or when the alarm's gone off, now with the time it took to get the logarithmic fading of the lamps, the LEDs, but it's worth it. It looks lovely. And as soon as it starts up again, it then sets the hands to the time that the current time, so you get to enjoy seeing the movement of all that happening, especially if it's been several hours. Over here, so that's that, then set and adjust alarm. Sets it to that, and then she can set the alarm time, so I'm going to go like that. Look at that, the little lamp comes on to tell me I've set the alarm. Right, so the alarm is set for a couple of minutes time, hopefully we'll be able to see it. Then there's set current time zone, and she can run through again with the use of this. She can set which time zone she's in, like so. And the clock, as you can see, will change times accordingly. Let's go back, there we are. And adjust central time which I won't do because that just adjusts the base time there. So let's set that back down to normal operation. Oh, excellent, look at that. Isn't that lovely, what a lovely effect. And the lovely flute sounding. Now that will sound for a minute and then stop, unless I touch something, so I'll just touch that. There we are, and that's the alarm reset. By the way, this wire here, I've just left the uh, USB wire into the Arduino inside in case I need to make any changes to the Arduino sketch. Once I've found, established it is all OK and working properly, I'll just take that out and screw it all down. I thank you very much. Thanks very much for watching. Speak to you soon, after a week or whatever. Once this has been tested, I am very, very pleased with how this has come out. It looks so nice with all the little red decor with the felt little red incidences like the pulley's red as well and you know that that knob there is just oh, it's just lovely as i say the special all the intricacies all the pipe work and everything and the fittings it does look really nice i'm very pleased with that lovely thanks again